Hello and welcome back to the channel. So in the previous lecture we have seen how to configure the MySQL and we have also created one table named rating and we have put some data into it. So we have loaded the ratings.data file into that particular table. So this lecture what we are going to do is we will just use the scope command line utility for either importing or exporting the data between MySQL and Hadoop. So without further ado let's get into it. So here you can see all the commands which are needed for this lecture. So the first step will be we need to grant all the privileges for our movie ratings database to the root user account which is identified by the Hadoop password which we have configured in the previous lecture. So after that we can just directly go and just use the import and export command to transfer the data between MySQL and Hadoop. So for that purpose you need to load up your HDB sandbox. So I have already kept it in the running position to save some time. So here you can see all the services are running fine as expected. So if you have any issues you can just go on and restart your HDP sandbox to solve those errors because most of the time restart will definitely work and if you are facing any issues with any of the services or if it is erroring out you just leave the comment below and I'll just look into it and provide you the feedback as soon as possible. So without wasting any time let's execute our commands to play with the data. So I hope your sandbox is up and running and all the services are running fine. So just open the putty terminal here and log in as a maria underscore dev. So just open it. So you know the password right. So the password is again maria underscore dev. And as you can see if you hit ls we have that ratings.data file which we have loaded. And the first thing first we need to give the privileges for our movie ratings database which we created in earlier lecture to our root user. So for that purpose you need to log in to the MySQL. So to do that just give like MySQL dash u root and dash p. Hit enter and give the password as Hadoop all in lowercase. So now we are in our MySQL command line. So just without wasting any time just quickly give all the privileges to our root account. So for that just type like grant all privileges. So just look out for the spelling errors here on the database name so the, our database name is nothing but movie ratings dot and you need to provide the tables so for this we can just give star to provide the privileges for all the tables and again two and the username so our username is nothing but root at the rate localhost so this is our root username and after that you need to provide the password so for that purpose give like identified by and in single quotes give the password which is Hadoop all in smaller case. So if everything looks fine just give semicolon enter as you can see it has been succeeded. So you can just exit from the SQL command line now. So just give exit and you are pretty much ready to execute the scoop import command to load the data from MySQL to our HDFS. So in the introductory lecture I have explained you regarding how the scoop works and and the import and export syntaxes for those. So there are some basic things which we need to provide during importing or either exporting the data. So those are nothing but the JDBC connector string which is nothing but a connection string for our MySQL. After that we need to provide the driver for our JDBC connector which is nothing but MySQL. Then we need to provide the table then the mappers. So here as our HDP sandbox is only having the one node which is our local PC. It makes sense to give the mapper function as one. So we will give it like that to reduce the overhead. And after that we need to provide the credential. So are you ready? Okay then. So first just give like scoop then import. Then the first one is give like connect. So this is the first parameter and provide the JDBC connector string which is nothing but give like JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash localhost slash the database which is movie ratings. So give like movie ratings then again give the driver space the driver name is nothing but com dot MySQL dot JDBC dot driver but here the D is capital so just look out for that otherwise it will just throw an error. After that we need to provide the table. So give like table as a parameter and our table is ratings. And after that we need to provide the mapper function. So in this case we only have the one data node. We will give like dash m 
as one and after that we need to provide the username and password so those are nothing but the first one is username which is a root space and then give at last is password which is hadoop so here we haven't provided the high import so what it will do is it will just import the data from mysql to the hdfs so it will create a data file into our hdfs directory and load that ratings data into it so if everything looks good just hit enter so as you can see our scope job has started up and in the back end what it is doing is it is just converting our scope job into the map reduce job and it is getting executed onto our single node cluster so as you can see here are all the logs and where you can see the map reduce job and its details so it is doing too much work because we are dealing with smaller data set now it is not recommended to use the scoop utility for the smaller jobs because it will have an overhead on our hadoop cluster so that's why we have given the mapper as one otherwise it will just unnecessarily run the different mapper function for such a small data set so as you can see our mappers and reducer functions are running so as you can see our scoop import function has been succeeded and you can see it retrieves 1 lakh and 3 records so for seeing the results just go to the local host 8080 which is the ambari login page and just give like maria underscore dev and give the password as maria underscore dev just close the warnings and go to the files view because our data has been imported in the hdfs so the default directory for is you just have to go to the user and in user we need to go to the user so our user is maria underscore dev so just go to that and here you can see we have the directory called as ratings so this is our file which is imported from mysql so if you just go into it so this is the success file and this is our data file so if you want to look the data so just click on it and open it and as you can see our data files has been successfully imported but we have imported this into the hdfs and not in the hive but you can have a capability to import the data directly in the hive database let me show you how to do that so just come back to the putty terminal and for importing that data into hive directly you can just give the hive import option into your scoop command so all you have to do is just give the up arrow to get the previously executed scoop import command and give space dash dash hive dash import so that's it so this option will let you import the data directly in the hive default database so if you hit enter so similarly our scoop import job has been converted into the map reduce one and it is running on our cluster so our job is in running state now yeah so our map function is about to start so our map reduce job has been completed so to verify it we just need to go to the hive view and the data will be imported into our default database so just go into the hive view and just uh, refresh it once so if you just go into the default database as you can see our ratings table has been imported from the mysql so as you can see the user id movie id rating and timestamp it is similar structure as it was there in the mysql so you can just see the data so i have just selected top 100 rows from there and as you can see this is our data so basically we can directly import the data into hive by just giving the hive import option in our scoop import command so this was very simple but this was all about the import but we can also have capability to export the data from either hive database or hdfs to directly to mysql so let's talk about how to export the data from the hive directory to the mysql so first we need to find out where this data file resides for this rating table so all you have to do is just go into the files view then we need to go to the default hive directory because we haven't provided any specified directory so it will just import it into into the default one so for that all we have to do is we have to go to the apps after that we have to go to the hive then the warehouse and as you can see the ratings is imported here so if you click on ratings 
So this is our data file, which is similar to the one which we imported in the HDFS. But as you can see, it is having the different delimiter for this field. So by default, it is nothing but the ASCII value one. So by default, Hayu uses ASCII value one as a delimiter to import the data from the MySQL or any other relational database. So in the export statement, we need to provide the same. So you can just close this for now. So for exporting the data, similarly, we need to provide the JDBC connector string, then driver, then the table and all other stuff. But first we need to make sure that that specific table should be present in the MySQL. So to do that, all we have to do is just go to the MySQL, MySQL dash u root dash p, give the password as Hadoop. So again, we need to select the database. So just give use and the database name is movie ratings. Yeah. And we need to create a table in which we will export the data from our hive directory to that particular table. So for that, we will just create one table. So give like create table. The table name will be, we will say like exported underscore ratings. So it will have the similar structure, whatever we had in our hive database. So it will have user ID as int movie ID int rating int and the TS also integer. So we'll just close it and just create the table. So as you can see, our table has been created. So we can just go and execute our export command. So we have to just exit from the MySQL now. And that's it. So for giving the export command, just give like scoop export. Then we need to give the JDBC string. So give like dash dash connect and the JDBC string, which is JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash localhost slash and the database name. So here our database name is nothing but movie ratings. Then we need to provide the number of mapper. So here also we will give the mapper as one because we only have the cluster including one data node. So we'll give like dash M one. Then we need to give the driver. So our driver is com dot mysql dot jdbc dot driver. So here the driver's D is capital. Then we need to provide the table. So give like table and the table name is nothing but exported exported underscore ratings. Then we need to give the export directory. So we know that path, right? So just give like dash dash export dash dir as directory space and give the directory so it is apps slash hio slash warehouse slash ratings that's it and after that we need to provide the delimiter for that file so as i already told you how you uses the ascii value one as a terminator for each fields so all we have to do is dash dash input dash fields dash terminated dash by and then in single quotes give like backslash 001 which represents the ASCII value one and just give the username and password so just give like username as root and the password is Hadoop so that's it so if everything looks good just hit enter so as you can see our scoop export command is being converted into the map reduce job in the backend so let it run so here you can see all the logs of the map reduce job and how it's getting executed and all the stages. So this is our job ID. So our job is in running condition now. So this is split up into the mapper and reducer function, but it will be pretty much the mapper because we're not reducing the data. And that's it. As you can see, it is showing as exported one lakh and three records. So a job has been succeeded. So it's almost took 71 seconds for us to export the data. So that data file was as it is showing here is 1.8 MB. So it is pretty small file. So that's why we don't recommend to use the scoop and distributed computing tools for handling smaller files because it will have the overhead on our Hadoop cluster. So if you have a bigger file, it will definitely make a difference and you will see the real power of Hadoop. So for verifying it, just log into the MySQL command line. So just give to MySQL dash U root and dash P then give the password, which is Hadoop. So this is one shortcut and that's it. So just use the database, which means we have to select the database. So just give use movie ratings. That's it. And after that, just give like select star from 
exported ratings so we are just pretty much in the data and we'll give like limit 10 that's it so we are selecting first 10 records so as you can see the data has been successfully exported from our hive directory directly to our mysql database so this is how you can either import or export data between the relational databases so here we have used mysql as a relational database because it was pre-installed in our cluster and it, it was having an easier integration and between the hadoop so hadoop means we have imported the data into hdfs and directly into hive as well so we just have to provide the hive import option only in our scoop import command so that was all about it so i hope you got a clear idea how the scoop works and how it executes and uses the distributed computing of hadoop cluster to handle the big data so here are the commands and i'll also leave this scoop import and export commands in the description below so that it will be easier for you and it will save a lot of time so you can just practice it more and if you face any difficulties or your scoop command is getting error out just let me know in the comments and i'll look into it and give the resolution as soon as possible so i hope you like this lecture so please subscribe to our channel and also ring the notification bell to get the latest updates and don't forget to follow us on our social media which i have linked in the description below thanks for watching